And this week we're going to look at the best dividend stock to buy right now. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, August 17th, 2014. Uh, and on the opening slide, we see that this company is in the steel and iron industry. And we see that it has a 12 month upside potential, according to our estimates, of 25.1%. On to the next slide, we see that the name of this company is called Reliance Steel and Aluminum. Their ticket symbol is RS. Uh, once again, the industry is steel and iron, and we see that 12-month upside potential at 25.1%. On to the quick facts slide. Uh, for a business summary description, we have Reliance Steel and Aluminum Company operates as a metal service center company. Uh, the company provides metals, processing, services, and distributes a line of approximately 100,000 metal products, including alloy, aluminum, brass, copper, carbon steel, stainless steel, titanium, and specialty steel products to small machine shops and fabricators and OEM customers. So basically, these guys don't manufacture the metals, but they process the metals, form it in different shapes. Uh, you know, stampings, different sizes, things of that nature for, for uh, small machine shops. Uh, their website is www.rsac.com. That's www.rsac. Uh, the company is headquartered in Los Angeles, California. They were founded in 1939. They have 14,000 employees. Uh, once again, the ticket symbol is RS. Uh, the sector they operate in is basic materials. Uh, the industry they operate in is steel and iron. Uh, over the last 12 months, the annual revenues uh, were $9.92 billion. So these guys are a sizable company. Uh, the net income for the company uh, over the last 12 months was $341 million. And the cash from operations over the last 12 months was $459 million. So this is not one of those household name companies, but evidently they do quite a bit of business. Uh, the market capitalization uh, for Reliance Steel and Aluminum uh, stands at $5.32 billion. On to the products and services slide. Uh, we have two pictures of uh, what looks to be their one of their warehouses where they store some of metal. I mean, we have their their uh, company logo, Reliance Steel and Aluminum Company. Uh, you know, one of the pictures with a overlay on, of a picture of the warehouse says the largest metal service center company in North America. Another one, another photo says distributor of over 100,000 metal products to a broad range of industries. And some additional photos is we have photos of, of, they're probably stock photos of alloy steel, aluminum, brass and copper, carbon steels, stainless steel, titanium, and well, I, I shouldn't assume they're, they're stock photos. They, they may, may not be. And additionally, we have uh, what they do with those metals products. Uh, you know, uh, they do uh, beams, bar and tube cutting. Uh, it says bending, forming, and shaping, uh, coil and flat roll processing, machining and manufacturing, uh, plate and sheet uh, cutting and burning, and specialty services. So that gives you a feel for, for uh, what Reliance does. On to the uh, metric slide. Uh, once again, the revenues over the last 12 months was $9.92 billion. Their net income was $341 million, and their cash from operations was $459 million. Uh, looking at the operating margins, uh, they look to be improving. Uh, in 2013, the operating margins were 7.7%. In 2014, they are improving and are tracking to be 9% for the year. 
uh, on the valuation metrics. The trailing P.E. ratio right now stands at 14.8, and the forward P.E. ratio stands at 11.9. So uh, percentage-wise, that's a, a noticeable uh, decrease uh, from 14.8 to 11.9, and that implies that a lot of analysts expect earnings to increase over the next 12 months. Uh, the peg ratio is at 1.4, uh, you know, not less than one, but not far from it either, which is a good thing. Uh, the price to sales ratio is at 0.6, not not very expensive at all, as well as the price to books at 1.3, also not an expensive figure. And the enterprise value to EBITDA ratio stands at 8.9. Uh, the recent closing price for Reliance uh, was $68.20. The 52-week low for the stock uh, was $65.50, and the 52-week high uh, was $76.78. So the past uh, year, the stock hasn't moved uh, that much between $65 and essentially $77. And right now, the closing price is, is closer to its 52-week low uh, than its high. Uh, the 20-day moving average uh, was $69.87. The 50-day moving average is $72.09. And the 200-day moving average is $72.16. So that's a pretty tight uh, moving average range, which just kind of tells you that the stock hasn't been uh, moving too much, at least over the last, uh, I guess, six to nine months. The average daily trading volume uh, for the stock is 434,000 uh, shares per day. Uh, that's a decent volume, not, not, not huge, but decent. And the beta for the stock is at 1.9. So the, the stock uh, historically has moved more than the market when the market's gone up and has moved down more than the market when the market's gone down. And But, you know, we've uh, promoted this as a dividend stock. And the dividend yield is quite respectable. It's right there uh, among the average dividend payers. And it stands at 2.1%. And the average dividend payout ratio over the last three years was 18%. Okay, on to the price chart for, uh, you know, what we'll see is, is it's not too much, just kind of a lot of oscillation over the last uh, 12 months, as, as we mentioned. You know, over the last 12 months, officially, the stock has declined minus 2.43%. So the stock hasn't moved much between $67 and $77. has basically been its range up and down over the past year. So the you know the, the price chart we're not we don't feel as though it's it's overly revealing. And on to the next slide, uh, kind of a wrap up slide, is that you know the financial statement quality of, of Reliance is actually very good. They have a strong uh, balance sheet. Uh, the operating margin trend, as we highlighted, is improving. Uh, the price pattern trend has been flat. I mean, it's down 2% over the last two months. Uh, and the overall market outlook right now, uh, you know, we're still somewhat neutral. I mean, the, the market has been a, a bit volatile over the last three to four weeks. And we're, we're cautious. I mean, we're still seeing some uh, logical behavior. We're seeing some overvalued names go up and some uh, undervalued names even go down a little bit. But uh, we, we think that things will, will settle settle down a bit uh, in the near future. So we, we don't expect any unusual uh, headwinds uh, against, say, uh, Reliant, uh, Reno, excuse me, Reliance uh, movement uh, anytime soon. So, you know, the recent closing price for Reliance is $68.20, and our 12-month price target is $85.33. So, you know, this company with a great uh, balance sheet uh, is a good, good story. It's a solid business, and it really hasn't advanced much over the past year, and we, we think that it's creating some pressure for some uh, nice upward movement uh, over the next year. So we see its total upside potential at 25.1%. So for all these reasons, this is why we believe that Reliance Steel is the best dividend stock to buy right now. And on to our last slide. It's just a slide uh, letting you know that the, our investment management business is open and we're accepting clients. 
So if you're looking to increase your savings, improve your lifestyle, accelerate your retirement, uh, or just have a bit more financial cushion, then we think our investment management business uh, could be a good answer for you. There are the two things that's pretty special about a business is that we use our proprietary algorithms and you know we're scanning uh, nearly 4,000 stocks every week to find the best investment opportunities and also we use uh, uh, concentrated investment portfolios. So we're only uh, investing in 10 to 20 different stocks where, uh, while the average mutual fund invests in about 150 different stocks. Uh, additionally, we use a separately managed account arrangement. So this is an account where you open, the account is in your name, and you simply give us uh, investment management authority. Uh, you can see your positions 24-7. Uh, that's something you can't do with a mutual fund. Additionally, we offer four different strategies to meet your risk appetite, from the conservative dividend uh, stock uh, strategy to a value strategy to a more aggressive long-short strategy where we're taking long and short positions to a very aggressive option portfolio strategy where we just invest in a basket of uh, call and put options. All this being, uh, all these selections being driven by our portfolio by our proprietary algorithms. So we're taking advantage of the latest technologies available and we think we're offering something pretty uh, different and unique. And you know, if you've got $25,000 or more to invest, uh, please give us a call about opening up a managed account arrangement with us. And we can be reached at 281-947-2201. That's 281-947-2201. And you'll find out a lot more information uh, at our website, which is www.connermg.com. That's www.connermg.com. So that's all we have for you this week. We hope you found this presentation helpful, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.